What's up guys, Aces High Hobbies. Trying a little different approach this time around. Um, try not to be camera shy, but it's just me and you today. And uh, we're gonna talk about some, uh, some, some diecast stuff. Um, but I wanna start off by saying thank you to those of you who are subscribing to my channel. I see the numbers are slowly climbing. We're almost at 400 and I strongly believe we can get to 500. Um, and at 500, I have announced previously in, on my channel that there's going to be a giveaway. I'm going to pack this box of goodies. And once we hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to have a giveaway. And I'm going to give this to one of you guys for supporting me. Uh, you do have to be subscribed though, so make sure you hit subscribe if you're not. Um, so on that, I'm going to go ahead and show you what's in the box so far. Uh, we're going to add something new today. Um, so the first thing in there is going to be this Fast and Furious 5-pack. Um, just for the Supra alone, this 5-pack is totally awesome. So that's going in there. Uh, we're also going to have this Nissan 5-pack. And I did, I was going to put open ones in there from that previous video I did, but I'm just going to include sealed ones because I have a couple extra. So um, you're going to get a Nissan 5-pack. Pretty dope. You're going to get a C C7 Corvette. Z06 Zamek. I know Zamek's are kind of hard to find in some places, so that's a good that's a good little addition right there. Um, Ford Mustang GT Majorette. I don't know if you guys collect Majorettes, but whoever wins this, I strongly recommend cracking it open. These are just awesome. I don't keep any of my Majorettes in the package. I bust them all open, and they come in this cool little box. Uh, suspension, rubber tires, moving parts, the works, dude. Five bucks a pop, if you can find them in the US. Um, awesome cars. I, I like these more than I like the Hot Wheels Premium, so the Hot Wheels Boulevards. I'm sorry to say, but um, it is what it is, man. And we have a 2020 Mercedes Benz CLA shooting brake Super Chase from Matchbox. Um, going in the prize box it's a pretty huge one man these are not easy to find i would say super chases are even more rare than super treasure hunts around here anyways because um hardly any stores restock matchbox regularly and when they do you don't see super chases very much and somebody usually beats you to them and takes all of them so yeah that's going in the box i'm gonna get a protector for that so that's not gonna come just like that it's gonna have a plastic protector clamshell on it um and today we're going to add a 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel treasure hunt. This is the PK's treasure hunt for 2023. So it's a newer one that's going in the prize box. Um, and every video I make until we hit 500 subscribers, I'll add something new in there. So um, this is going in the prize box today. And actually, I want to throw something else in there. People are sleeping on these Adventure Force cars you can get at Walmart, man. I mean, dude. They're not even a dollar, you know? And uh, we got this 454 SS. That's just dope. All it needs is a wheel swap, man. Um, stick around and I'll show you how to swap wheels on these, but all these need is a wheel swap. And look, dude, you got a nice little truck. You can even paint it if you want, but... Yeah, man, these are cool. That's going in the prize box. Adventure 4s, 454 SS. Um, been doing some hunting I've slowed down a lot on hunting man honestly it's it's a it's a hard game out here there's so many people um, you know and if, if you're not first you're last dude so usually the first person gets all the luck and everybody else really doesn't get much it kind of sucks but you know sometimes you get lucky and uh, I haven't gotten lucky in a while <laughs> But this morning, I got lucky. Right place, right time. Dude, I can't even tell you how lucky I got, man. It's, it still doesn't feel real. But, uh, yeah, let me show you how lucky I got. That's a Bluebird Wagon 510 Super Treasure Hunt P case this morning. Not only is it almost impossible to find the mainline version of this, which is still really neat, and I want, I want them for customs, I've only been able to find one, 
but to find the super treasure hunt. I haven't found a super treasure hunt in since like February. Since it's been a long time. Um, I did find the Porsche one like a couple weeks ago, but uh, I wasn't too stoked on it, but I was still glad to find it, you know? I'm sounding like a jerk right now because, oh, you found a super treasure hunt, but let me tell you the story on that. I happened to be at the right place, right time. I opened up the box, it was a P case, right? And the super treasure hunt in it was the Porsche, which is one for the case before that. I was so confused, like, what the heck? Where's this Datsun? I don't even see a mainline. And I looked at the Porsche and it was a super. So I've never been so stoked and so bummed at the same time. But, you know, I'll take it. It's cool. Um, I, I did end up making a trade on that one. And I'll show you what I got as part of the trade for that one. But um, I got this Bluebird here and this is going in my collection. I'm going to get a protector for it. I'm going to put it on a, on a shrine. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just really stoked about this. You know, and I'd still be happy if I didn't find it. You know, if it was just a mainline, I'd be cool with that too, because I could make it into something special um, by doing customs on it. I like doing customs, and I'm gonna show you a little bit of my custom works in a different video, not in this video. Um, but yeah, man, cool. I can't, you can't, can't complain. So up until a couple weeks ago, I hadn't found any super since like February. Found the poor super, which is, was really cool. Um, and then found this, so I'm, I'm happy if I don't find anything for the rest of the year. I'm content. Um, let's talk about old Matchbox stuff, because, dude, look at this. This is from like the year 19, uh, 1999 or 2000, I'm not too sure. But they don't make stuff like this anymore. Matchbox has so many cool castings. They have this. We have an airplane, dude. What did I do with that airplane? Oh my god, hold on. Sea rescue plane. You see how the wings fold up? They put in a package just like this. And then you open it up, and the wings fold out, man. You got the cool little airplane. I love airplanes, and I got these at the last die cast meet for a dollar a piece. The guy was selling them for a dollar a piece. I would have gladly paid like three dollars for this. But he's like, yeah, just a dollar. So I picked up a couple of each, uh, one to crack, one to keep in the case. And these are staying in my collection, man. These are so cool. And I don't know if you know the new um, Matchbox, what do you call it? The air airplane Matchbox ones, they sell for like five bucks. They don't have ro wheel rolling wheels, man. They don't do the rolling wheels anymore. The landing gears don't roll. They're just solid plastic. These roll, they roll great. I love old stuff like that, man. I really wish I uh, had been a conscious collector back when I was <laughs> 10 years old, but I know that's not really feasible. Um, back to my stove. Got a cool Corvette. All it needs is a wheel swap, man. That's all this needs to be, uh, to be cool. I think we'll do that. Yeah, maybe towards the end of the video, I'll do a quick wheel swap on this so you can see my process. But uh, should be relatively easy. My stove. Yeah, don't sleep on these, man. When you're at Walmart, take a look. You might find something cool. I found the Toyota Corolla. Um, pretty neat castings. Pretty cool. Um, so part of the trade that I did for that Porsche Super that I found was, um, was this. I got a, uh, the number one Boulevard Bone Shaker, dude. Check that out. Um, I have a cool little Bone Shaker collection going. Uh, maybe someday I'll do a room tour and i show you everything that I have. But yeah, this is one of my, I wouldn't say holy grails, but one of my favorite pieces in my collection. Number one bone shaker. I'm hoping I can get another one so I can crack it open. But uh, I'm good just to, just with this one. Uh, got a few new pickups from Q Case, which I haven't really seen a uh, fresh Q Case, but I did find some residuals on the Super Cub. I do a little roll of motorcycle and moped collection there, so that's gonna go there. The uh, 1980 El Camino in green. Pretty dope. There are so many uh, leftover ones, but a lot of stuff I didn't buy, a lot of fantasy stuff. I'm just, I'm not buying Hot Wheels now just to buy them because we don't have them. I'm, I'm just buying the ones I really like now because I just don't have room, man. <laughs> this is crazy. And uh, the Land Rover Series 2. This one is awesome because it's got a surfboard and it's got like flip flops in the back and it's really detailed. 
got the front window pushed down. It's just, I don't know, I thought it was a neat piece, so um, I went ahead and picked it up. Pretty stoked on that. Got a couple new Matchbox. Porsche 911 GT3 in white. Full detail, back and front tempos. So this is a good little showpiece, man, if you want to crack that open. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, we got a 94 Mitsubishi 3000 GT. I have the other version of this. I don't remember if it was yellow or silver, but that's a nice one. And uh, I do love compact cars, and uh, the Morris Mini is one of the ones that I do like. So I came across this at Walmart and I had to have it. It was the only one on the pegs, but just so happens if you look at the back, it just so happens to be the best one out of the set, in my opinion. Um, so I went ahead and scooped it up. Love the Christmas colors on it, red and green. Little chipmunks are cute too, I guess. So <laughs> we got that going. Um, I ordered a case of M2 Dodge um, trucks off eBay, hoping I would get lucky and get a chase or a raw, but I did not. <laughs> um, I got two of these, you know, so it's, the case comes with two boxes and it's two of each car. So I got a case of these Dodge trucks, but they're sick, man. They're pretty cool. I love this green one, it's slammed, the 150. That's pretty cool. And then uh, we've got a couple like work-esque trucks here. Uh, we got the uh, Midnight or Midnight Express. That was really dope. I love the wood um, sidings on the top. It might be metal, I don't know, but it reminds me of a truck my dad used to have when I was a kid. And uh, the W200 Power Wagon, Snow Fitter, Snow Fighter, sorry. And I love this orange. But it's got a little wheel defect on there. Good old M2 quality, man. You know how I feel about M2s. But the good thing is this one I can get in there and crack it open and fix it and seal it back. Good as new, so not that big of a deal. And then we got the Rescue Squad Dodge. This is a D300 1972 with a service bed, the toolbox is on it. Um, that's pretty cool. So what I'll probably end up doing is um, keeping the set box. I mean, uh, I might open a set and display them somewhere, but uh, we'll see, man. I don't know. I hate opening M2 stuff. <laughs> uh, enough crapping on M2. You know, it's not not that big of a deal. They don't, they don't deserve such criticism. Yeah, they do. If you're selling stuff for a high dollar, not high dollar, but you know, these are like seven bucks a pop. Shouldn't have any defects on a seven dollar car, you know. I don't even want to look at them because I'll just find something else that's wrong with them every single time I take a look. At them. I'm just being picky, whatever, dude. Um, what else did I want to talk about? What else did I want to talk about? I don't know. Oh, all right. Hot Wheels has these. Awesome. I don't know if you've seen them a little dusty. Um, pullback racers, man. They're so freaking cool. I love them. They all have moving parts. They're like seven bucks, eight bucks. They're not too bad. Uh, but they're about, I'd say, 43rd scale. The Lolux looks awesome, dude. Um, they're coming out with more. I get these at our local grocery store here in Texas, HEB. They carry them. But look at these, man. You got the Lolux. You got the Mighty K. Opening doors. Um, we got the Muscle and Blown with the opening hood. This one's dope. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, twin Mill. From my testing, this is the fastest one. Um, me and my boy were testing these all the time. And every time we get a new one, we race them all over again. And so far, this is the fastest one. Um, got the Hummer EV. Not my favorite. It's pretty slow. But if you like Hummers, you know I got it just to complete the collection. We got the Fusion Buster. This one's dope, man. Look at that. It looks mean, dude. It's the wheels. And you got the Bone Shaker. Kind of wish this was a closed top Bone Shaker, but that's all right. I think there's some in different colors. I haven't seen different colors yet, but. Um, and then last but not least, Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Oh, it's just a GT3. I don't need the RS. I don't know. But, anyways, Porsche 911 GT3 in orange this one has opening doors and 
pretty detailed on the inside. You're probably not gonna be able to see that, but um, these are cool, man. Pull back racers, dude. They got some wind on them, man. They go pretty far. But uh, yeah, I mean, as far as recent finds, that's really all, all I care to talk about. Um, I think we can do a custom real quick, a wheel swap. Let me show you how to do a wheel swap on um, these Adventure Force cars because once you wheel swap them, they're like totally different cars, man. So come on, I'll show you. All right, guys, first things first. So uh, we got to pick a good set of wheels for this thing. So I'm going to crack her open. I'm going to do some, uh, kind of some comparisons here. This is a pretty fluorescent yellow. Um, I think a good contrast might be just to keep them black, but let me see what white looks like. It's actually not too bad. Um, let's see, ten spokes. Let's see what gold looks like. Um, nah. This yellow is just a really goofy color. You might just have to roll with black on these so let me find some black here's some the car comes with five spoke black and here's some five spoke black so yeah i think that's that's what we're gonna roll with some five spoke black wheels and um we'll call it good there i think that's that's gonna be that's gonna be cool okay we'll set the wheels aside and um let's get the drilling so the first thing you want to do is get a 1 16th drill bit. You, know, you can buy one of these that has all the drill bit sizes in there, but you want a 1 16th drill bit. And um, you want to put it into the drill as far as you can. That way it doesn't snap when you're putting pressure on it. So we're going to put it in. There you go. It's pretty good. See only a little bit of it sticking out. That's perfect. So now what we're gonna do, do is um, don't put the car down like this and drill into it. I mean, you can if you want to, but that's I don't like doing it like that. Um, I like holding the car up with my hand, making sure you're parallel to the drill and you wanna find the little divot in the middle and you wanna drill into that divot. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna create a, a hole um, for you to use your bigger drill bit to drill the rest of it out and a hole that you can tap to put a screw in afterwards. So. Um, hopefully I don't screw this up, but let's give it a shot. Uh, go slow. Don't get too crazy or you'll go right through it. See how far in we are here. We haven't really got that much out, so uh gonna blast a little bit there. You wanna come out every few seconds just to check how far in you've gotten. Going a little bit deeper here. I think that's a good starter hole. It's a good pilot hole. We can uh, go in a little bit deeper later if we need to, but we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. I'll make sure to keep it as straight as possible here. So I think we got a good pilot holes. Um, both the rivets are drilled in a little ways. That's gonna give us a good spot to put in the other drill bit so we can uh, drill, the, drill the base off. So um, let's do that. Stay organized, put this back where you got it from. And then uh, the next drill bit I'm gonna use is a 5 30 seconds drill bit. So it's a little longer, so I can't put it in as far, but it's real thick, so you don't have to worry about breaking it as easily. And here we're gonna go really slow. A few rotations, check back. Take it easy. 
you want to apply a little bit of pressure if you can on this. I think we're through on the back end here. Let me let me check. Let me drill a little bit more. Gotta go downwards a little bit here. There we go. It doesn't always go perfectly straight, but if you can make it work, just do your best not to eat up the plastic on the base. So we got one side done. We can do the top, the front side. That's pretty much the same thing with Hot Wheels or any die cast that uses the, uh, the stamping method. But yeah, check that out. We're open, dude. We got our car here. You know, I don't like that very much because this post isn't very long, so we're going to have to drill into it more to get a good tap. Uh, this one's a little bit longer. We can work with that. And if you got some sharp shrapnel like that, just get you a pair of uh, wire cutters like this and then just kind of cut off the excess so it's not popping up. Sometimes it's good to leave the excess because it, it snaps the base back into place when you're trying to put it back together. But as long as you have it tapped and drilled re really well, you don't have to worry about that. You can always glue it too if you don't want to tap and drill it, but it's, it doesn't look as nice. So, um, yeah, so let's see. This is how Maestro cheaps out, I guess, to just put this here. Um, hopefully it's going to be a direct fit, but we'll see. Yeah, it's a little bit longer. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We're going to do a test fit here. Put this back in here. Yeah, it doesn't fit very well. I don't like the way that fits. But I'll have to uh, do some custom axles for this. But that's okay for now. We'll leave it. It's not wide enough. So it kind of bugs me a little bit. But um, for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to continue tapping and drilling this thing. Um, so now we'll switch back to our 1 16th drill bit. And I'm using these 256 by 1 8 inch screws. So what you want to do is measure the tip of the screw, see how long the thread is. And what I did is I got a little Allen wrench and I marked it off with tape so I know how deep I have to go. Hopefully that makes sense. But then you put the Allen wrench into the hole. I need a lot in that one. And I need a lot on both of them. So I'm going to keep going with this 1 16th drill bit up until it's the right depth. So let's see if that's deep enough here. In our little Allen wrench, we're gonna put it in, and that's good right there on that side. So we'll keep that. And then we're gonna come up here. I'm gonna do the same here. It's a little bit more dangerous here because we're on the hood. So I'm not gonna keep my finger behind there in case I do go through, which I hope I don't, but anything's possible, man. If you wanna wear um, like leather gloves or something while you do this, probably not a bad idea. I kind of can't get the right leverage here. I might actually have to pull my hand behind it. So I'm just going to be really careful. All right, check the hole again. Come on, baby. And a little bit, oh gosh, I don't know. It's a little tight, a little bit more. I think we'll be good. Just got to round it up. And keep your face away from this guys because it shoots little metal shavings and you could get them in your eye. Or wear like I goggle, I goggles or eye protection glasses or something. But uh, I'm just really careful. I'm just sitting, my face is like two and a half, three feet away from this while I'm doing it. So um, just be real careful on that. It can fling some shrapnel in your eyes. It's not a good day after that. All right, so we got the depth is pretty good there. So the next step is. To get your. Uh, 
256 2-56 drill bit here so um, I'll put a link in that on the description where you can get the tap and drill set that comes with this you want to be real careful with this because it's a little brittle I've already broken one again put in as far as you can um, you can manually do this with a with my hand with one of those I don't know where it is, but it's like a little T-handle. You put this in and you manually twist it. But I don't like doing that because it, it's kind of hard. It doesn't sit in there well. And i just gotten good at doing it with the drill. But here, what you want to do is start to tap. Press it firmly. Go slow. Super slow. Make sure on your slow setting on your drill. Go in about a couple turns. And you're going to go in reverse. Come back out. You know your shavings off. Just start the thread like that and then continue on. And go a little slow. You're going to redo the thread you were just at and you're going to hit a hard point. And that's when you know you're tapping it more. Right there. I can feel it. Don't go too hard. You'll break the drill bit. And then back out. This takes a lot of patience, practice. Uh, if you want to get good at this, I recommend using cars that you don't care about. <laughs> because you're going to go through a few um, and so now what we'll do is test out one of the screws make sure we got a good fit make sure it goes all the way in we know we're properly drilled and tapped boom that went in beautifully look at that nice and snug Snug like a bug. And don't overturn this because you can strip these little screws very easily. Um, so now we're going to tap the bottom one. Flip it around. We're going to do the same thing. Go forward. Slow. One turn. Two turns. Two and a half. If you're really good at it, you can do it all in one go, but I don't recommend doing that. Because a lot of the strap mill stays in there, little shavings, and it prevents it from tapping properly it could even ruin your, your thread so just go in a couple rotations come out and then uh just go back in. just do it the right way we're in, we're in and i got a little bit of feedback there i know i'm trapping more just go real slow okay it's really tight there so i'm going to back it out Cool. Clean out the shavings. I'm gonna do a test uh, test fit on the screws. See if we can go all the way in, and if we can, we are done. Let's see. There we go, all the way in, baby. Perfect. We are done tapping and drilling. So now is the easy part. That was the hard part. <laughs> so now what you do is you back your screws out. Back it out, back it out, do your wheel swap, and the, the good thing about tapping and drilling like this is if you want to switch the wheels out later, you can do that. You can just go back, take the screws out, put the wheels you want, and then put it back together. Boom, you have a brand new car, dude. Check that out. This is backwards. <laughs> okay. Let's get this in place as best you can. I'm struggling for some reason. Okay. There we go. The base usually snaps back on somewhat easily. Uh, you get your screws. Oh, I had an extra one out there. See how that stayed like that? So, what I'm going to have to do is put bushings or spacings between there to keep it centered. I don't like the wheels flopping around like that, but I'll do that some other time. I'm not too worried about it right now. This is just to show you guys what you can do with these cheap little inexpensive cars. Put that one in. Boom. 
bada beam, bada boom. Looks like a freaking premium, dude. Hold on, let me get you in there. Check it out, guys. And the cool thing about these uh, little Adventure Force Maestro cars, they come fully de decaled, man, or fully detailed. They have the, the back uh, tampos on there, paint, whatever the heck they do, and the front. You know, and then here you go. We got a wheel swap. It rolls nice. Boom, million dollars right there, just like that. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're still here, appreciate you. Thank you. Um, if you like the video, I would appreciate it if you subscribed. We're getting close to 500 subscribers, and it's going to be a doozy of a giveaway. And if there's only 500 subscribers, that's a pretty good chance to win because probably not all people enter the giveaway. And um, and those that do are going to have a good chance of winning. And we'll have more in the future, bigger, better, you know, further along we go. But uh, 500 is a goal for now. So thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next one. Peace.